I've always been fascinated by destiny, by the fact that some things are in your control and some things aren't. In Four Corners, there are a number of themes that revolve around family, destiny, the legacy that belongs to fatherless sons, and to the woman who reared those sons. In our story, we have these four apparent separate lives that are heading at quite a rapid rate towards a collision. There's a period of six days, and by the end of those days, there's a crisis that involves all four players. I'm intrigued by family, by connection and disconnection, how you may be intimately connected to someone who you think is a stranger and yet completely disconnected by a family member. It was very clear that the number of these specific rules and systems that have to be followed and restrictions on young people in the flats. You know there are areas where you can go and where you can't go. I wanted to draw parallels between the chess games and what happens to not only people inside a prison but outside prison, and where you may move, and where you can't move, and what the restrictions are in your life. All the actors cared so much about the story. It was great to see the non-actors and actors working together and playing off each other. The non-actors taught the actors a lot about the reality of the situation. It's like a baby, hold it like a baby. Okay. Brendan, who plays Farah Khan, said to me this is the first time that a coloured actor has had the opportunity to play a coloured man's story on film in South Africa. For international audiences, this notion of coloured is a foreign concept. We as South Africans all know that alongside all the other racial communities, the coloured community have their own identity and unique contribution they make. I believe Farah Khan does break free from all the challenges that he has to face. But you know, stories are always never ending. So that will be the challenge for Farah Khan to maintain his rights to be a free man. Layla's struggle with her family and Tito's longing for the community to be one family and Hassan's anger at what happened to his family. All these are taken some steps further or to a final step over the period of the film. But really, it's only the Ricardos in the streets and the moves they make as young boys coming of age that will tell us what we need to know about life in the flats. All the characters in our film are fighting to be free, each in their own way. And I think to be broad about it, you could say that's what everyone in the world is doing all the time. <laughs> 